Hi, everybody. I'm Joel Simmons for another Two Minute Turf Talk. We are very fortunate here at Earthworks to be able to work with a gentleman by the name of Lawrence Mayhew. We consider Lawrence our chemist, and he is a chemist by education and by experience. We have featured Lawrence a number of times on the Earthworks podcast, and particularly when we talk about humic acids, because he is a world-renowned expert on humic acids. Recently, we were talking with Lawrence uh, on the subject of plant availability of nutrients. And the subject came up of that research study back in 1936 by Arndt and Stout. And we had a fascinating conversation. It is generally recognized in academia in our industry that there are only 16 or 17 plant elements uh, that are necessary for good plant growth. And I think that's been disputed. We certainly challenge it. Here's a conversation or snippets of conversations that we had with Lawrence on that subject matter. I hope you enjoy. 1936, Arnon, Arnon and Stout. Thank they you. said that if you take, if you use, if you put a plant in nutrient solution and uh, you remove something like magnesium, okay, and that plant cannot reproduce or dies, then it's considered an essential element. I've got a I've got a database I've been working on for a long time with all the benefits of the trace and ultra trace elements, and A the listed A to Z. Now look at antimony, just A here. Soil concentration is 0.85 milligrams per kilogram. That's the same as part per million. It increases auxins and which are growth stimulating hormones in rhizobacteria. And I reference it. See, I got my little reference there. Can you go down to my reference? It's, it's getting longer, isn't it? <laughs> There's number one about appendios. I got what page it's on and everything where it makes that statement just for something you've never heard of before, right? And the whole thing's like that arsenic, believe it or not. <laughs> it's, 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 I call it, they call it 1939. Arnon Stout said it, had, it was essential if the plant died or could not reproduce, but. This is way beyond it. What about increasing the growth of rhizobacteria, for example? Okay, I was just talking about cesium, that one right there, cesium. Here's cesium. Soil concentration is only five parts per million. That's all there is. It's taken up along with potassium, always taken up with potassium. There's my references, number four and five. Almost always accompanies potassium and ruthenium in animal and human tissue as substitutes for either or both. And there's my reference. Number yeah. seven, right there. And what's what's seven? Seven is Pai and Jones, 1997, Handbook Trace Elements. 